You're not going to want to miss this episode of the AI Show, where we talk all about Azure Video Indexer with ChatGPT integration and Edge expansion. Make sure you tune in. Hello, and welcome to this episode of the AI Show, where we're talking all about Azure Video Indexer with ChatGPT integration and Edge expansion. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us who you are and what you do. So my name is Ilbaz Agiv. I am principal product manager of Azure Video Indexer. Fantastic. So what, for those that don't know what Azure Video Indexer is, it saved my bacon a lot of times, incidentally. Tell us what it is. All right. So in one line, that's the product of Azure of Video AI. And what it does is you upload a video, and then we extract more than 30 different AIs for the video and for the audio part of it. So, I mean, so you're saying that basically I just upload a video and I get a bunch of goodness. Can you, I mean, you said it really fast. I feel like you're not giving it its due. Like it extracts a text, but when you say insights, what does that mean? All right. So let me walk you through the story of Azure Video Indexer. Okay. Look at this set of customers that we have here. All of them coming from industries starting, um, uh, education, through media, through public safety, and all of them have multiple challenges of large media archive where they would like to extract the information of that video and be able, for example, to search for faces, for locations, for um, keywords, for topics, for objects, to understand the transcript of that video for multiple purposes, whether it's to run search, whether it's to make their video much more accessible, whether it's even to generate ads and place those ads in the right moments in those videos to create new content, for example, for social media, as well as to moderate some of the content. So we run a bunch of AIs, really, really long set of AIs on top of cognitive services. And customers have the freedom to choose whether they would like to use our um, portal offering, like a web offering, or to take some pieces, we call them widgets, web components, and embed those components in your offering, or to go and use the ABIs. Hold on, can you go Can you go back one? Because I don't think people appreciate the number of actual, and this is the this is the part that like, like drives me crazy, because we, like, we're like, oh yeah, it does some AI. It does a lot of different models on the thing, like down to recognizing who's in the video or that it switched people. Am I getting this right? Definitely. With a single API endpoint, you get more than 40 different AIs. Some of the output of those AI is used as an input for a different AI. And we actually work on both your audio track and your video track and are able to do kind of a multi-channel, merge this information to truly understand what's the content of that video in a single API call. And that's the cool part. It's like I said, it saved my bacon a number of times just with getting transcripts, knowing when things have switched. It's it's really cool. Sorry to interrupt you. Keep telling us more about a video indexer. All right, so let's just focus on what's new. Remember that I mentioned those customers and their challenges. So we always look on the scenario of the deep search and the accessibility of those video libraries. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking, how can we make those scenarios better? Everybody knows Azure OpenAI and ChatGPT. It's super um, trendy in these days. So mm -hmm. we're thinking about a solution that will to integrate these two and actually would allow to do a better search and accessible scenarios. And I don't want to speak too much, just to walk you through um, the demo that will explain exactly what we've done here. So before you go to that to the to the demo, uh, you're th now we're talking about the new stuff. You somehow integrated Chat GPT and Edge computation because this is all like this is a lot of com videos are pretty big and moving things back and forth. So those are the two things you're going to start to show us now. Is that right? I'm going to start to talk only about the integration of Azure OpenAI and ChatGPT to improve the search experience. That's one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you another demo where we basically enhance our cloud native offering and also expand it to the edge. But let's focus first on the first announcement that we're going to show you a code sample that everybody actually can download and try it yourself to be able to integrate with 
Video Indexer, GPT, and Azure OpenAI together to improve search and accessibility. And later on, I'll move to the uh, announcement around the private preview of the Edge offering that we have for Video Indexer. That, these are Let's separate things. All right, in this demo, we're going to look how we can integrate Video Indexer with Azure OpenAI to make the content more accessible. Here you can see Video Indexer account where we have our video files with a transcript. We push those transcripts into the Azure OpenAI model to generate embeddings and keep those embeddings in Redis database. And finally, there is a web page where we can use to search through the content using Azure OpenAI search model. Now, here you can see my video indexer account using the portal of video indexer. You can see I've already indexed several videos for this demo, and these videos all contain a transcript. After I deploy the solution, this is the front end where you can um, use a search through the transcript. Now, let's just imagine I work for LinkedIn, uh, where we have indexed a large archive using video indexer. And for this demo, we know that I've indexed several videos, and I know that these all talk about OpenAI. So let's start with a simple question. How is Microsoft planning to use OpenAI? And click on Elaborate to get more information. So I click on Elaborate, I get more information. And a cool feature is that I can also change the language. Let's say I want it this time on Dutch. And you get the response in Dutch. And let's give it one more try. Now we want to learn uh, what percentages of the students are actually using ChatGPT. I get immediately an answer, five percentages. I can click on Elaborate to get more information about it. And the nice thing here is that I can also link to the moment in that video where you can see the information coming from the OCR, which was detected on the screen, that based on it, uh, GPT was able to generate the answer for this. So that's a code sample which is available for everybody to use. And uh, if you just want to learn more, you can click on this link. There is a blog post with all the information there. Just download a code and try it yourself. So this is cool. So basically what you've done is you've used Video Indexer to extract a bunch of information. And then you've done a pseudo rag pattern, retrieval augmented generation, where you're embedding results from people's queries that send you directly to the right video place. Am I getting this right or am I am I off here? Exactly, exactly. That's exactly what we do. Currently, the demo that I showed you just focus on the transcript, but imagine the whole bunch of AIs which I've presented oh. to you. Mm. This is also a multimodal approach where we are currently working on another code sample. Maybe in the next AI show, I'll be, I will Ooh. be able to show you this as well. That's cool because I mean, and when you're when you're using OpenAI, you could you could basically search all of the goodness that's extracted from videos and you can embed it. Like you might be able to say, Hey, I want, when did Seth say foo in this video? And you'd be able to find it because it's in, it's in the transcript. If you add like the, who said what, et cetera. I mean, there's a lot of potential here for this. You got me right. And you have this code sample, just download it and try it yourself. Everybody can do it in his own video library. Cool beans. So what are you showing us next? All right, so the next thing is, um, remember those customers with a large media archive? Yes. Sometimes some of them, which has the eligibility, uh, they have the API of running face detection. And in this case, this is Satya. I'm telling you a secret. Uh -huh. um, but these customers may want to redact some of the detected faces. And for this purpose, this is another feature that we've added in private preview. We've already mm -hmm. created another um, private preview release for you. So that's, again, my video library. I would like now to choose uh, one of the videos where I would like, again, to redact uh, the faces. So out of that video library, let's pick one of uh, the videos that I have here. In this video, we can see it says Satya Nadala. And now what I would like to do, I would like to generate with an API call a new video exactly the same one, just when Satya faces will be redacted. So for that purpose, I will use a Postman API. And you see that we have basically here three parameters that I would like to control. The low blur is the one that I've selected in terms of the different kinds of blurness that we have. The second one is the ID of Satya. You see it says one, one, four, five. That's the ID of Satya and Adala's faces that were detected. And it says include because I want to 
include only that particular identified face and redact only Satya face. Now, if I run the API, I it will give me a response. And after that response, I will be able to see a new generated video here in my library. And um, as, part of, uh, as part of this library, I will be able to play that video, the new video that was generated. It should be exactly the same one. I'll just expect that this time, Satya faces, as you see here, will be blurred. So this is amazing. Uh, where can, like you said, people, how, how do people get access to this if they wanna, if they wanna try this? To be able to get access, just reach out to us through this email and we will enable this on your subscription and you can give us feedback. Fantastic. So you, you said you had two things, but you may have three things. I, I remember something about the edge. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So here's what we hear from our customers. Customers may have this nice native cloud solution with all the different set of AIs. But now the third announcement is around a private preview where we basically expanded also to edge type of use cases through the Arc platform. And what does it actually mean? Let's take a look on this example. This is a real customer scenario. They have a lot of regions, some of them running on Azure, some of them running on AWS and GCP. And some regions are actually have a Kubernetes clusters and those regions are restricted but they don't want to use different AI solutions from Microsoft. They say, hey, we have video indexer running on the cloud. Just give us the same offering also on the edge for these two restricted regions or to run it through content that simply sit on a different uh, IaaS. So for that purpose, we basically connected to uh, Arc, which is a single platform that will allow us to connect those different regions and have a single video indexer running. And it doesn't matter if it's cloud or edge. If you have some uh, restricted regions where you have to run the AIs close to your data centers, then now it's possible with the new private preview of video indexer. Today, we have six different buckets of AIs. I show you the whole diagram, but these are actually the way that uh, customers are looking on our product. And the one which is highlighted here is the first private preview where we took transcription, translation, and captions, and actually ran those AIs on the edge. Now we are really, really looking to get feedback from the customers, and there is a link to the registration form, how you can actually reach out, register, and try it yourself. And it's exactly the same video indexer under a single product offering, just now also enabled for edge type of scenarios on top of Kubernetes clusters. Now, how That's does it cool. look? Yeah, it is, it is. We've worked hard on it and we're really, really listening to customers that says that they have a hybrid landscape as I presented before. Now let's give a quick look how, how the flow looks like. I don't wanna talk a lot about um, Kubernetes and how it looks like, but the demo starts basically with creating a Kubernetes cluster. To simplify the process, we've created an installation script that you need simply to put here your subscription ID um, with a bunch of other parameters and simply get everything deployed um, on, on your account. Um, so here I'm just running behind the scene that script that creates for me the Kubernetes cluster, the video indexer account, and all the information that I need. At the end, it said that it was running successfully and I actually get a link uh, to a Swagger API where can, I can either run the APIs or to the same video indexer. Look, it says hybrid. Now it has both cloud and edge extensions of video indexer. Just like you know from VI, I can upload a video. This time I take the video from my edge uh, extension. Uh, I can give it a name like test for arc, for example. I can choose here the language to optimize the AIs. I can click on upload. And this is actually running in the background. It's really unique. It's a combination of a cloud and edge offering under the same experience. Now you can see that the AI is actually uh, processing and you can also track the progress. Everything is done close um, to the data center of the customers. We're not leaving any, uh, any data to the, uh, to the cloud. And, and now after it finished, you see that the transcript and the uh, uh, captions 
and the translation. If you remember, this is the, the very first thing that we do uh, for our Edge customers are actually available. So I can now switch the language. And in one click, I get all the information in a different language. In this case, it's Spain. And I can turn on the closed captions. And the closed captions immediately will be added. The streaming is done from the edge, as well as the AI processing was done on the data center of the, of the customer. And that's actually something which our customers were really looking us to have uh, for a long time, uh, to have the same solution from Microsoft, from first party AIs, now not only as a cloud native offering, but also um, running on the edge. And if you want to join the ARC Experience Azure Video Indexer private preview, please reach out to us um, through this registration form. I mean, this is cool. So the AI processes are running, I'm, I'm guessing, on containers inside of the Kubernetes clusters, but they're accessible through the Azure portal or the Azure Video Indexer portal as well. So it's like you have the same functionality, but it's on your clusters. Is this right? Exactly. Exactly. The control plane is done from Azure. From Azure, you create your video indexer account and you trigger the creation of the ARC enabled video indexer extension, which is actually running and deployed on a Kubernetes cluster. The AI processing is happen close to your data, to where the data resides. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then from the cloud portal, from that uh, web app that I've showed you, you're able to see the combination of the content that you actually prefer to run on the cloud because you may have no restrictions and no local regulations. But also you can go to any VI extension and run the AIs uh, on the edge close to uh, where the data resides. Which is cool. And, and I, know, I know we keep saying that, but I feel like, Videos are big, uh, and being able to run it on the edge is just absolutely amazing. So where can people go to find out more? What if they want to try this stuff out? Where should they go? Basically, there is one click uh, to uh, go to Video Indexer trial account. You can see all those uh, goodies that I've presented in the trial account. Specifically for the private previews that I've mentioned, you need to reach out. So let me just make a quick mm -hmm. recap. The code sample is available for everybody. There is this blog that I've put here. Then the face reduction or the ARC enablement video indexer private preview, both you need to reach out to this um, email address or to submit uh, a form with all the information, and then we will enable your subscription and you can work with us and share your feedback. That's amazing. Also, for those that are wondering, there's some good documentation here uh, that you can take a look at. And then the sample that you mentioned before, that's available, the chat GPT, GBT integration is available here. Is that right? Absolutely correct. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being with us, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. We've been learning all about Azure Video Indexer with ChatGPT integration and Edge expansion. And there was a face blur in there to boot. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Take care.